Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. Your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is packed with cutting edge, security features designed to keep your data safe from cyber threats, theft, and unauthorized access. However, many of these protections aren't enabled by default, so to fully secure your device, you need to take some action. So in this guide, I'll walk you through 10 crucial security settings that every Galaxy S25 Ultra user should activate immediately. From advanced biometrics authentication to theft detection and encrypted storage. And these features will safeguard your personal information, financial data, and private communications. So let's dive in and ensure your S25 Ultra is secure as possible. So the very first feature which you need to turn on is your screen lock feature. So as you know, when you first set up your Samsung S25 Ultra, you have secured it with a pin code. However, that is not secure and you can even secure it even more. So to add more security features to your Samsung S25 Ultra lock screen, you can go ahead and open up settings. Now next, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the lock screen and AOD. From here, find screen lock and biometrics. Go ahead and enter in your pin code. Now from here, you can go ahead and secure your S25 Ultra with a pin, a password, a pattern, swipe. You can also use fingerprints and face recognition. So go ahead and turn on all of these screen lock and biometrics method to secure your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this basically prevents unauthorized access to your device and the data that is stored on your phone itself. Now feature number two is where you need to turn on extend unlock. So as you know, when you're at home, you don't want to keep unlocking your device. You want to let your Samsung S25 Ultra decide for itself. So with this feature, it recognizes you, it recognizes that you're near home or your trusted place, or it recognizes that the device is nearby your watch or your earbuds. So to turn on extend lock, go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings, scroll down until you see lock screen and AOD. From here, find extend lock and tap on this. Go ahead and enter in your pin code. Now this is what extend lock is all about. Go ahead and have a read, got it and then go ahead and tap on all of these features. So onboard detection, trusted place, and trusted device. So we turn that on, go ahead and enable the trusted places, and then trusted device. So if you have a watch or if you have a earbud, you can go ahead and set this up in your extend lock. So once you've turned on this feature, extend lock, this will basically keep your device safe and will keep it unlocked while it's on you. However, once it detects that it has been separated, then a lock itself. Now, the third feature which I want you to turn on is your auto lock feature when the screen turns off. So as an example, once you stop using your phone, you place your device on the floor. However, you don't lock it. So the next feature which here you need to turn on is as soon as that screen turns off, it locks itself. So to turn this on, you want to go ahead and go into settings. From here, go ahead and scroll down until you see lock screen and AOD. Now from here, find secure lock settings. Enter in your pin code. Now here, you need to go ahead and find this feature here, auto lock when the screen turns off. So tap on this. So here you want to set when the phone will be locked after the screen turns off, except when extend lock is keeping it unlocked. So of course, if you're somewhere in the office or if you're not near the phone, then this comes into play and you want to go ahead and select immediately. So immediately as the screen turns off, your Samsung S25 Ultra will lock itself. Now feature number four is to turn on auto factory reset. So this feature is really important as, so say for example, you're walking down a street and someone snatches your phone. That person can basically enter into your phone using brute force. So they can use a USB, which basically guesses your pin code. However, you need to go ahead and turn on this feature called auto factory reset. As if someone tries 20 times to attempt to guess your pin code, that phone will automatically format itself. So it will reset all the data and completely remove everything. So this will basically keep your information safe. So to turn this on, you want to go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings, scroll down until you see lock screen and AOD. Then go ahead and tap on secure lock settings. Enter in your pin. From here, find auto factory reset. So as it reads, after 20 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it'll reset to factory default settings and all the data will be erased, including files and downloaded app. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now, after that feature has been turned on, the next feature which you wanna turn on is you wanna prevent the phone from being turned off. So this is feature number five. So say for example, again, if you're walking down the street, 
someone snatches your phone, your phone will basically recognize that it's being stolen. And so this feature will kick in and will not let the other person switch off the phone. So by switching off the phone, they're basically cutting off all the communication. So you cannot basically find it or you cannot give it a call. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap settings. From here, scroll down until you see security and privacy. From here, find lost device protection. And here you need to go ahead and find the theft protection. And here you need to go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will lock the screen if it's detected that someone took your phone and ran away. Now adding to this feature, feature number six, you need to also enable a feature where it locks the phone if your phone loses network connection. So if someone steals your phone and cannot turn it off, the next step which they'll do is to remove the SIM card from your phone. Once they remove the SIM card, this will automatically lock the screen if your phone loses its network. So to turn this feature on, again, go into settings, scroll down until you see security and privacy. From here, find lost screen protection, and then tap on theft protection, and then find offline device lock. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So your device screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. So for example, your device will lock if someone steals it and turns off internet to prevent location tracking. So bear in mind, you must be actively using your device while it's unlocked and the screen can be locked up to twice a day. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So the next feature is feature number seven, where you need to turn on find my mobile feature. So find my mobile feature will help you find your S25 Ultra using a PC or maybe someone else's phone. And here you can basically track down where the phone is located. So to turn this on, go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings at the top right, scroll down until you see security and privacy. From here, find lost device protection. And then from here, find find my mobile. Tap on this and then go ahead and log into your Samsung account and then go ahead and turn on all of these settings. So allow this phone to be found, send last location and turn on offline finding. So here you can go ahead and use the Samsung Find My app if you have lost your Galaxy device and you can also use it through a website. Now the next feature which I wanna talk about is turning on app protection. So feature number eight, you need to turn on app protection. So with app protection, this will basically keep your phone safe from malware and other suspicious activity. So as you know, there are a lot of people out there who basically um, creates application, which basically looks very genuine. However, that application is there to steal other people's data. And with Samsung S25 Ultra, where you can basically download and install any apps on it, you can by mistakenly infect your S25 Ultra. So to avoid from this happening, you need to turn on app protection. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings. You wanna scroll down until you see security and privacy. From here, find app security. And here you need to find app protection and tap on this. So with app protection, you can stay safe from malware and other suspicious activity. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So as it reads, app protection will scan for issues each time you install a new app. So this may make the app installation slower, but it allows you to block the installation of apps with security risk. So go ahead and turn this feature on. You can go ahead and tap on scan now to scan any apps which you have downloaded from the website rather than the Google Play Store. Now the ninth feature which I want to turn on is called the auto blocker. Auto blocker is something similar to app protection. However, it protects your Galaxy device and the data by preventing the installation of applications from unauthorized sources and blocking malicious activity. So if you're the person who likes to sideload applications, so you don't like to download maybe from the Google Play Store, you like to go onto the website and download maybe a older version of an app with auto blocker, this will basically protect you from installing applications from unauthorized sources and also will block malicious activity. So to turn on auto blocker, go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings, scroll down until you see security and privacy. From here, you wanna find auto blocker, which is right here. This will basically keep you safe from security threats, suspicious activity and privacy risk. You can go ahead and read more about it over here. Go ahead and turn this feature on. And now once this feature is turned on, you're safe from security threats, any suspicious activity and privacy risk. So this will basically block apps from unauthorized sources. This will block commands by USB cable. This will block malware images in messaging apps. And this will block non-official software updates. 
For those of you who like to install apps downloaded from websites, you should go ahead and turn this off before you do it. However, please do that at your own risk as sometimes these apps can cause some issues. Now the last feature which I want to add to this video is feature number 10 where you need to include your contact information on screen. So let's say for example, your iPhone was stolen. However, you have enabled all of those security measures. And so now your phone is really useless to that person. So what that person will do is basically he'll throw your phone onto the side. And let's say for example, a good person has found your phone and has basically switched it on. Here on the lock screen, you need to turn on a feature where it basically shows your contact information. So that good person can basically just look at the lock screen, look at your name and look at the number and then give you a call and say, I found your phone on the side of the road. Here's a location, come and collect it. So here you need to go ahead and add contact information to your lock screen. So to add contact information to your lock screen, you wanna go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings, scroll down until you see lock screen and AOD. Now here you want to go ahead and find lock screen on this page, tap on this, go ahead and enter in your name and then enter in your mobile number and then tap done. So with this information, that person can basically contact you and you'll be able to get your phone back. So there you go guys, those were the 10 crucial security settings that every Galaxy S25 Ultra user should activate immediately. Please let me know if you're having any issues with any of the ones that I've mentioned in this video. Please like this video if this video is useful and if it is useful, then please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.